oh yeah, the main cook posture. This is in general to unscramble your energies. Remember when I told you the story about the teachers, that when teach, one teacher is scrambled and he's teaching the class, the whole, like, the whole class gets scrambled because scrambled energies are contagious. So you also want to make sure you are zipped up that your energies are flowing. So grab a chair and I have to adjust the camera a little bit. You can do it standing or sitting, but I find the sitting one is more impact. Put one leg over the other, put your hand under your foot, and grab around your foot so that you have bladder meridian co um, covered as well as you connect with your K1, kidney one point under the foot. So you, and what you do is you breathe in and stretch. Like you stretch all bladder meridian. Remember bladder meridian governs the whole nervous system and gallbladder meridian. And then switch legs again, put your hand under your foot and nice stretch. And you can do that exercise even longer if it feels good, especially sometimes when you're emotionally overwhelmed. Doing this exercise is a wonderful exercise to help you feel more grounded and centered and make helps you feel better. And then you take your hands and put them to a triangle and put your thumbs to your forehead and lightly, just lightly touch them and pull your forehead a little bit apart. What it does is you create a bridge between the left and the right hemisphere and so those two brain hemispheres can energetically connect. And then take your hand and pull off your forehead. That was the unscrambling energies. The next one is the zip up. And remember what is important, like what, like a lot of the meridians are really sensitive, like especially spleen on how our, th our thoughts and how we feel. So we, we influence with our thoughts and feelings the meridians as well as how flowing and open they are influences how we feel. So the zip up is used. Remember the zip up goes from the pubic bone straight up until here. And it is the meridian that connects the brain to the part that, that can be used for to be hypnotized or to set like um, intention, like to, to, to put a statement into us. So what we want to do is we want to create a, a statement for us for healing or whatever that statement is, and you want to really zip it up into your central meridian. So clap your hands, think of something you really want to create or you want to feel, and zip it up into your central meridian. And then lock the key and throw the keys away. Again, and really, Nice. This also will protect you when your central meridian is closed, will also protect you from other people's energies coming in. The four, this is from the daily energy routine, the four thumbs. The four thumbs govern under the eye, the points. That is the stomach meridian, which is very grounding. 
the stomach meridian grants us from the heavens into the earth and we really want to make sure the stomach meridian is open and flowing the more we do this the more grounded we feel the next point is the kidney point you know here under the bones in that groove and really thump the kidney point this is also called the emergency point because it also connects other meridians and remember the kidney is weakened by fear so when we experience something that puts some fear into our system we really want to um, strengthen the kidneys because the kidneys give us energy pull the energy from the earth and bring it into our body so in order to have energy available we need both the stomach meridian open as well as the kidney meridian open and then the next point is the thymus and that is a wonderful point for two reasons one is to activate the thymus gland which has activates t cells as well as there's a life force behind that point the thymus this point is a really wonderful point for a, for life force so you really want to activate this point to tap into that force into that energy and then the last point is down here which is like spleen point spleen you can rub it you can tap it there's want to have a strong spleen spleen metabolizes everything in life food emotions toxins anything we experience wonderful then the next exercise is the cross crawl remember energies want to cross they need space and they want to cross so let's cross our energies the cross or oh, this was a cross crawl sorry the cross crawl is actually bringing like you can do anything you can do light exercises complicated exercises important is that you cross the middle lane and however you want to do it and do it like for half a minute or a minute to make sure your energies are crossing wonderful the next one is the homolateral crossover this is where you pull when you have a partner ask him to do it on your back if you don't have a partner grab the one side of your shoulder and pull the energy over your hips and then the other one wonderful yes you pull the energy on the other side I do this a lot when I worked a lot on the computer because a lot of sitting staring at the computer often brings us into a homolateral pattern connecting heaven and earth we had connecting he heaven and earth it's important to create space for spleen and liver meridian and also to connect like to create space in our whole system so that energy can flow remember um, energy one thing energy wants a space it wants to cross it needs space put your hands on your thighs connect with the earth and then bring your up, hands up to your heart and then go down a bit in order to activate kidney meridian because you really want to give your body this the, the jump start from kidney and bring one hand like this one hand to the ceiling and the other down the earth and do a really nice beautiful stretch and then come back to the heart the other one to the ceiling and one to the earth do a nice stretch this is beautiful for liver and and the spleen meridian and again okay. 
and then we go all the way down to the bottom and we take in three breaths here breaths here and really um, relax your spine stretch your spine and then we do small figure eights all the way up figure eighting our whole body and then do figure eights above your head and bring the beautiful energy down to your body and you can actually zip it up again wonderful the next one is the hookup you know with a hookup we have the central meridian running in front of the body and we have the governing vessel running um, at the back of the body and the moment those two hook up they connect it creates a protective energy flow around the body and the hookup is a little bit my um, teacher taught that to me which is really nice it's like the hookup is like the water tanks that are in the city like wherever the city needs water the, wa the water um, goes to so like if those two energies are running it create it provides energy for your whole system so what you want to do is take your middle finger put your finger in the belly button and the other one in the third eye point go in and up a bit when you breathe in and hold it And the longer you hold it, the better. Like I do that in bed in the morning. I put my hand, my arm here on a pillow and then I hold it for minutes. What is also very, very nice and effective is to do this kind of hookup leaning against a tree. Because what happens is that your energies connect with the energies of the tree. And it basically is very grounding and very balancing. And this you can do throughout the day, several times a day. Shorter or longer. You don't have to switch sides, I just did it because, yeah, if you do that um, throughout the day, it, it will really help you to feel more grounded and centered and provide energy to all the meridians. The next exercise is the triple warmer smoothie. So this is basically to strengthen the immune system. Those exercises now, they are to strengthen the immune system. Okay, I showed you already the long version of the triple warmer smoothie. Here's a quick version, a short one. Wrap your hands together, shake them off. Put your hands on your um, eyes. And with the next breath, pull it to the side. Remember that we are on triple warmer now, fight or flight marina. With the next breath in, you smooth behind your ears. And then here on your neck, you put your hands really flat. You drag it down and you just rest on your heart. What this does is you trace triple warmer backwards and then here along here goes triple warmer as well as the vagus nerve. So you basically connect or balancing um, the vagus nerve as well as coming down triple warmer and then you connect with your heart which gives then um, calming and balancing information back to the brain. This activates the immune system because we know when triple warmer is too active, it takes energy from spleen and spleen is all about a strong immune system. This is now for if we have excessive fear. If we have excessive fear, we hold our head. We had that already like a long time ago. We want to bring blood back to the forebrain. And these are the fear points. This is from kidney and also bladder. So we just hold and breathe. 
Another wonderful exercise also from the daily energy routine is the crown put, where we really open our head. This is also something to do during the day whenever we feel a little bit headachy or discombobulated. Do a nice crown pull and then take the energy off and connect with your heart. That is. And then for excessive fear, another wonderful exercise is tapping. These are the exercises that Donna recommends for anyone with a serious illness or with a chronic illness. I do them every day anyhow, just to keep myself in, yeah, in good health. Um, there's another one, but okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it so far. Okay. This was, um, I hope this video um, helps you and I hope for that you really get used to those points anyhow and you can forward it. If you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm happy to connect and to answer questions and I wish you much joy doing those exercises. See you soon. Bye.